Normally, many people associate Copenhagen suborbitals with rocket engineer Peter Madsen and spaceship designer Christian von Bengtsen and their homemade spacecraft that may put a man into space. But at the moment, 44 volunteers are working behind the two frontmen. We have 800 members of the Copenhagen Suborbital Supporting Association and a number of other sponsors, counting private people as well as companies. In this video, we will meet a handful of volunteers who participate in the Copenhagen Suborbital Association's effort to put a man into space in a do-it-yourself rocket. My name is uh, Flemming Rasmussen. I'm a relatively new guy in Copenhagen Suborbitals. Started about one and a half year ago and um, actually started out only as a driver of one of our rescue boats but uh, got a very huge interest in the whole rocket thing and convinced the guys that I should have a, a seat in the team. This has led to many many different tasks. Originally I'm um, educated as a software engineer and thought that was going to be my, my core competence in Copenhagen Suborbitals, but um, there were already some pretty good guys there and actually my heart goes more in the mechanical direction, so I started out doing mechanics also. On the smaller rockets, the um, Smarout and the Sapphire, I have actually been project leader for the, the payload system and on the Sapphire rocket also on the, the Trust Vector system where I designed the, the jet vanes and uh, part of the, uh, the controlling system for this. On the larger bi-liquid rockets I um, work on the locks and the fueling side which is um, quite a responsibility as you know we are we're working with liquid oxygen at a temperature of minus 183 degrees and Handling this and keeping it under pressure um, requires some discipline. We are a group working on this uh, four people, handling the different valves, storage tanks, ventilation, pressurization and so on. Klaus Nörgaard has known Peter Madsen for 10 years and together they have built three submarines Freya, Kraka and Nautilus. In his everyday life Klaus works with special effects within movies and theatre. Klaus has been part of Copenhagen Suborbital since the beginning of the project in 2008. Klaus is one of the best combined metal workers and engineers of Copenhagen Suborbital. He's a certified demolition expert, co-constructioner of the test stand VTC-1 and has constructed and operates the water sound suppression system WSSS during our static tests. Klaus is part of the team who modifies and maintains mission control and launch support vessel Vostok. Together with Morten Bulsko and several others, he's one of the practical men at Copenhagen Suborbitals solving all the tasks and challenges that constantly emerges within the process of putting an astronaut into space in a do-it-yourself space rocket. Klaus helped building the mobile launch platform Sputnik and installed the twin engines in Sputnik. During launch campaigns he's part of the crew that sails Sputnik and supports pad leader Nils Folleja on board Sputnik when he prepares the rocket for launch. 
finally, it's worth mentioning that Klaus and Christian von Bengtsson are the main designers and constructors of the space capsule Tycho Deep Space, and is by now already part of the planning and construction of the successor, Tycho Deep Space 2. Here, Siebenheiser is Copenhagen Suborbital's contact at Bornholm. He's one of our all-round technicians who handles the pressurizing of tanks during our static tests. He also supervises our ships during summer, in between launches, when they're harbored at Spaceport Nexu. Pierre is also a professional diver, a qualification we often need at Copenhagen Suborbitals. My name is Morten Pulskov. I started in Copenhagen Suborbitals in August 2011. Um, it was a bit of a fluke that I entered the group, but started up with the construction work on, on the test stand we're using right now for the TM65 test, and progressed from there. My job today is a combination of construction and doing a lot of the support structures that we use, and maintenance of ships. Our new uh, mission control ship Vostok is one of my pet projects. Besides the logistics operations during the launch campaign 2012, I helped uh, doing the final assembly and preparing rockets for launch on uh, the launch platform Sputnik. During uh, the launch itself, I am a cameraman in one of the one of the rip boats, and uh, after the launch and the camera dog work is done, I usually help with the recovery operation. This uh, summer, especially with the less capsule test, where I um, helped flight director Christian Bengtsson assess the damage of the capsule after it landed in the water. Besides the daily construction jobs, uh, during the tests I have the responsibility of supplying the test crew. That means that I make sure that everything is available uh, during the test. That is making sure we have scaffolding in place, that we have uh, air in place, that we have pressurization bottles, locks and whatever we need on the test stand. Um, my main responsibility is actually just to be available out there whenever we need anything for the test. During the test I revert, like in the summer launch campaigns, to being a cameraman and I do a lot of the still photogra uh, photography of, uh, of the test from, from the bunker area. During these tests we have a lot of setting up and taking down. The, the test area is, is not our own, that means that we have to clean everything up when we're finished. And I help control uh, the guys who, um, who set up and, and take everything down and make sure that everything ends up in the right place. 